Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on Eat Sleep Brief. And this week we're going to be covering a brand new product. It's not brand new as far as being announced, but it's something we've all known about. And I don't know about you, but I cannot wait till this product starts shipping. So for you guys that already have seen the thumbnail, you probably know what it is. GHL actually today finally released a lot more details. More importantly, a video of the Ion Director finally in action. Not only that, but they cover quite a bit of topics on it and I don't know about you but I've been highly anticipating this product. I know a lot of you guys are probably like I was when I first got my hands on the KHT I was a little bit skeptical you know having an, an automatic alkalinity test happening in a reef tank and having it you know make adjustments and so on was kind of not heard of a lot of people really didn't trust it uh, I think now more than ever, you don't even have to take my word for it. You can go on forums, watch other videos. There are so many people out there that have a KHT that you can totally pick their brain. You could even see their results. As far as I'm concerned, when I used it, it was very reliable. I made a few posts, made a few videos comparing to my HANA tester. It was right in line with it. Uh, of course, on the new 180.5, I'm certainly going to have uh, the KHT on there but I also am having a custom cabinet made where I've already let them know to please make room for the Ion Director because I for sure am gonna have that on the new build. So for you guys know, the KHT was just and only an alkalinity tester. Not only does it do alkalinity tests, log them, send you alerts, but it can also make adjustments such as your alkalinity dosage. For instance, if it does a test and notices your alk is a little bit too high, it can come down on the dosage. And vice versa, if it notices it's too low, it can up the dosage. Uh, and it's very cool because it's almost like keeping a heartbeat on your reef tank or at least a heartbeat monitor. Uh, you can perform one test a day, two tests, 15, 20, quite a bit of tests a day to really keep a close eye on your reef tank. Now, when the Ion Director was released, it caught a lot of people's attention, including mine. It's an automatic tester that's going to be able to monitor calcium, magnesium, nitrate, potassium, and sodium. You're probably saying, what the heck? These are parameters a lot of us didn't even think of. More importantly, these are some parameters that some of us would have to do an ICP test if you wanted to know exactly where they were. The good thing is for all these tests, except for the nitrate, they're within the 3%, either plus or minus range. The nitrate itself is within a 5%. And generally speaking, that's a good range to be in considering these are not, you know, 10, 20, 30, $40,000 testers. So I don't know about you, but for me, that's more than enough as far as the accuracy that I'm looking for. Uh, certainly more than enough to keep these parameters stable in the reef tank. I remember when GHL first starting to step into the American market. You know, I don't think there ever was an argument with them about reliability. Even when they first came into the U.S. market, they're very well known overseas, UK, uh, Germany, so on. But yeah, when they stepped foot in the US, I don't think anyone argued reliability. I think they've always been a very uh, reliable controller, which is why you see them slowly becoming more and more popular, specifically here in the US. One thing that I would tend to hear was a lot of people saying they're difficult to use, they weren't as easy as other controllers, but it's, it's one of those things that you come to be very comfortable with operating it. A perfect example of that is Windows, Mac. Android, iPhone. If I go to an Android user and tell him about an iPhone, he'll say an iPhone's super hard to use. If I go to an iPhone guy and tell him about Android, like, <laughs> I would even say an Android's super hard to use. So it's, it's pretty much the same scenario. Once you get a controller like let's say the GHL and you understand how it talks software wise, um, how everything is set up, it's a very easy controller to set up. Originally when GHL first again started to step foot here in the USA, their controller, the only way you could set it up was Windows. That was it. For So for someone like me that was a Mac user, it kind of was like a no-go. Uh, and I was, honestly, I was not about to go out and buy a Windows PC to be able to run this controller. Good news is when they did release the GHL a few months prior to that, they finally released the cloud-based app or also the app you can download on your phone so you can totally set up not only the KHD, the Proflex, even now the Ion Director uh, via your phone, via your tablet. So if you got Windows, you can set it up there. If you got Mac, you can set it up there. If you got a phone that can download an app from the Google Play or the App Store, you can totally set it up that way. Not only that, but GHL has taken a lot of feedback from the USA customers and made it a lot easier, easier to set up. And again, you can totally research this on your own. You don't have to take my word for it. Uh, you know, do some Google searches, go on forums, 
Maybe you can find someone on social media that is using one and you can ask them personally what their thoughts are. For all you watching this video and saying, so what exactly does the ion director do? I understand it tests, but what else can it do? Well, it not only logs the parameters, it charts them so you can see them over time, but it's also able to make corrections. So let's say your potassium or your magnesium or your nitrate, let's say you have that hooked up to like Nopox or something, whatever it is as far as parameter you're looking at, if you're dosing for that specific parameter, you can have that dose or either increase or decrease the dosage based on the result. So if you're someone that says, you know what, I don't trust a system making adjustments for me, I have no problem with it testing, I just don't trust it making adjustments. You can totally shut that feature off and you can run it as it is till maybe you gain a little bit more trust in it. But if you're that person that you do want to let it make its own adjustments, it can totally do that for you. A really important thing to me, I would say it's not that important to me anymore because I have a 180 gallon tank, but especially with people that have smaller tanks, you know, 40, 50 gallon, a very important thing to know is how much of sample water is used to get these results. Well, believe it or not, for all five of these parameters, it only uses five milliliters. So you could easily have this thing, the ion director set up on a 10 gallon tank and it wouldn't make that much of a difference as far as changing the salinity by taking out too much sample water. Not only that, another big benefit of that is whatever container you have of wastewater, guess what? It doesn't need to be as, as big of a container which means you don't have to empty it out as often. Much like the KHD, the Ion Director, it's not a standalone unit by itself. It's, it's two units, one being the Ion Director itself and second, the 2.1 doser. So the Ion Director, much like the KHD, it uses a total of three dosing heads from the 2.1 doser, which will leave you one open one for whatever you wanna use it. But yes, it does use a total of three heads, much like the KH Direct. One important thing that really led me on to GHL, specifically on the KHD, was I didn't want something that wasn't standalone. What really drew me to the KH Director, the one that tests alkalinity, was it was a 100% standalone unit. In other words, you didn't need to go out and buy the GHL controller to operate that. And the good thing is GHL has listened to their customers and they've done the same thing with the Ion Director. So if you're someone that says, look, I could care less about the full controller and all that, all I want is the Ion Director. Can I purchase that by itself without having to use it with any other controller? And the answer is absolutely 100% yes. It's a standalone unit. It does not require any other controller to operate. Of course, if you do wanna give the Profilex controller a try, they do communicate seamlessly, and there's probably a few other features that you can get out of it. But again, it does not require the Profilex controller whatsoever. So if you were someone like me in the past that have a smaller tank and you really didn't have the space for all this equipment, you don't have to worry as both the KHD and the Ion Director are both standalone units. Now the GHL has released a video of it working, believe it or not, the Ion Director is about one to two months away from finally shipping to our doorstep. So if you're someone that did pre-order yours, or if you're someone that's maybe on the fence or have just been waiting for it to be released, well, the good news is the wait is almost over and it's literally weeks away from being released so we can all hook them up to our reef tank and be monitoring all these parameters and I would say with between the KHD and the Ion Director, you pretty much have all your bases covered when it comes to parameters. For everyone out there saying, so how expensive is the Ion Director? Well, luckily you're able to purchase it two ways. You're able to get it with a 2.1 doser. If you're someone like me and you previously have owned GHL products, you probably have a 2.1 doser around. So if you're a person like that that does have one and you just need the Ion Director itself, the unit is $4.99. Now, if you're someone that probably doesn't have GHL, or maybe you have GHL, but you don't have a spare doser, you can buy both the 2.1 doser as well as the Ion Director for $849. So guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I was just really excited. When I saw that video finally released, I was like, I gotta let everyone know. I personally was almost jumping up and down because I'm a big tech guy. I love being able to monitor parameters like this and to monitor all five of those parameters, guys. I mean, if you got the KH Director, that's a total of six very important parameters I think everyone can agree we all at least test on a monthly basis of course with potassium we probably don't test as much why because a lot of the test kits out there just aren't very accurate but it's nice to see that the GHL did include this as well more importantly the nitrate was also added because again that's a big parameter at least I know I love to keep an eye on so guys I'm gonna have a link 
to the video GHL released today. If you guys wanna check that one out, they go into a lot more detail than I did. Like I said, this was just me kind of sharing my excitement for you guys. But if you're someone out there that maybe you are looking for an automatic test, whether for alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, potassium, nitrate, whatever you're looking at, be sure to check out either the Ion Director or the KHD. Like I said, within two months, they should be shipping out. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be keeping my eyes out. So guys, we're gonna end this video here. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment box below. Let me know your thoughts. If you're a person that has the KHD, what's your experience been with it? Or if you're someone out there that maybe runs another automatic test kit, I'd love to hear in the comments below. Also, if you're someone that maybe really isn't a big fan of these automatic test kits, I'd also love to hear what you have to say down in the comments. So guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, happy reefing. Wait, so with all six of those parameters, I'm never gonna have to test my water ever again. Holy crap. <laughs>